Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another important tutorial and in this uh, video we are going to talk about six commands which you can use in Kubernetes that will save your day and why it's important like you should never forget these six command because this is going to be really helpful in your day-to-day -day basis for to you know to use this command to save your life when you're troubleshooting issues with Kubernetes. So when you end up with some issues, you can use these commands to troubleshoot, to isolate the problems, and this will help you to understand the resource utilization, like how the uh, systems like nodes, uh, pods, containers, a different kind of utilization, which will be causing uh, the issues in your Kubernetes cluster. And this will also help you to get the logs and see what's happening inside. Because uh, if you have some issues, you know, you need to dig in depth to understand the logs, what the current state of your pods, what the logs, what's the exact issues. So these, uh, you know, commands which I'm going to show you in this tutorial is going to save your day and this will be you know, really helpful for you to get a comprehensive view of the resources, editing the resource definitions, a lot of purpose. So get, you know, the don't uh, no, wait, let's get started and, you know, watch till end of this video. Okay. So. We are going to talk about kubectl commands because uh, Kubernetes, what uh, we do is a lot of things use uh, command, right? Command lines and uh, we use different kind of kubectl commands and we are going to get started. So first of all, we are going to look into the resource utilization and resource performance. So a lot of issues in Kubernetes will be because of the utilization of the resources or the pods or the nodes and how the ports are configured. So a lot of things you need to understand how the those things are utilized, okay? So the first command we are going to talk about is kubectl top node. So these commands will help you to list all the running nodes and when and also give you the list of the resource utilization. So when you say resource utilization means like CPUs and memories of each node. And this will help you to see how the nodes are performing because ultimately you will need to see why some of the pods or some of the resources are not running or some issues happening with some pod or some nodes. So you will have to recreate the node or you need to shift the resources from uh, one node to other node or uh, you have to promote some master nodes or different kind of things. So how it look like, like when you write kubectl top nodes, it will show you the nodes which are currently running. And also it will tell you the CPUs or in the cores and the percentage and the memory and also the percentage. So this is an example which I want to show you. So this will be one of the important commands so you can always use when you are seeing some performance problem, okay? And similar to kubectl top nodes, you can also use kubectl top pod, okay? So here also what the difference is here you're going to see all the running pods in the default namespace okay so let's just uh, keep an note like this command will give you only in default namespace and it's there uh, it's the pods uh, utilization which will include like cpus memory uh, as i mentioned it in the notes as well this will also help you to see how the pods are performing so for example if you run the kubectl pod command it will list down the pods which are running and also what the cpus and memory for those but this if you want to expand this uh, to just not just to the default uh, namespace you can also use like kubectl top pod all namespace so it can list down all the namespace or you can even specify just a specific namespace Okay, so if you have multiple namespace, if you want to see only for that, you can use that as well. For example, if I put kubectl top pod all namespace, it will list down all the pods running and uh, it will also show you the different uh, CPUs and memory for it. So let's move on. Okay, so you got now two important command, the kubectl top, which we can use it for pods and also for node, right? And that will is more for the... A resource utilization now let's see about some of the logs and troubleshooting because you may need to uh, dig in a little bit more deeper to see the logs and how to analyze the issues so that you can find out okay what is the actual root cause or where uh, these issues are occurring so for that the logs is uh, really important so kubectl logs that's the command which you use and it have a lot of arguments and also options so we will talk about that as well. So by kubectl logs, you are going to read the logs and the information about the background activities or the completed events. 
uh, or in your ongoing resources that you you can get the complete details in the logs okay and also this will help you to debug the kubernetes resources so for example you know you write kubectl logs and you put the pod name so you'll have uh, different pods if you get all the pod listed and you can just put uh, the pod name you can get the all the logs for that pod and you can also use hyphen f for uh, getting the logs uh, for in for the pod or any resources so you can get it complete uh, of the logs and you can also use like if you want to get into the container level you can also use the pod name and inside the container you can even go into in depth like what the logs for the containers using the uh, commands so i will not go in depth more so you can read through the kubernetes document so but kubectl logs is one of the very important command which you can use to read the logs and also get a good understanding of what's happening and you can get it you know the whole details what's happening uh, using this log so let's move on to the next one so to, to the logs similar way like kubectl logs you can also use kubectl describe this also have different options you can use to use this one to provide get the complete details of resource or resource group so the resource when we say it can be node or pod services deployment replica set or any kind of resources and you can also get a comprehensive details of the resource so kubectl describe will give you the and or enable the developers to look into the current state of their kubernetes resource so when you describe a, a, a running deployment or replica set it will give you the complete current state and what's happening in the process something sometimes the pod or, or container has to be kill or restart so all those details will be there in the kubectl describes for example i'm going to describe uh, deployment means you can use kubectl describe and the deployment and the deployment name so test web app so that will give you the complete details inside that like when it was created was in which uh, details like which uh, image it's using which uh, what time it was created the containers inside running whether it's kill or restart or, or different guy all these details will be there in the kubectl describe this will be also a very good uh, command which you can use uh, for analyzing or troubleshooting and to get in depth of the kubernetes commands now another one uh, is kubectl exec so if you know like docker we use docker exec to get into the docker container similar way kubectl exec is also a command used to execute commands inside the container or the pod. so you can access the container shell so when you run this kubectl exec so you get the container shell and you run commands inside that so this will help you to troubleshoot problems and also interact with your application so for example uh, kubectl excel uh, exec and you have the pod name and you have the commands or argument similar kind of uh, different combinations diff different uh, varieties are there i'm not going to get in depth but you can use kubectl exec to like hyphen it and you can use the pod name and if you can use bin bash uh, like that so for example the below i'm going to use kubectl exec it and uh, the, the pod and you can use bin bash so you can uh, get the container shell and inside that you can uh, get more details and you can try to uh, run some application from there you can try to interact with that so you can get more details so this is also a very important uh, command in your day-to-day -day, uh, life for kubernetes administrator so you can use this to analyze more issues troubleshoot so when you have some issues with kubernetes i would say these are a few commands which definitely will help you you just first of all get the kubectl logs uh, check the resource using top and you can also get the describe you can get the kubectl exec and to get inside so these commands don't forget it's you, you have to keep it always in mind so you try any of all these commands to get you know debugging your issues so let's see how you can also edit resources sometimes you need to edit the resources and to see uh, how you can make some changes and get a quick uh, changes so this command is used to edit the deployed resources and like uh, it can be like deployment replica sets or any kind of things and you're going to edit the resource file directly for example you can use kubectl edit and the resource type and the resource name or you can use like uh, that's an this is example like kubectl edit deployment and the deployment name is nginx deployment and there you can change uh, maybe you want to run two replicas or you want to change the image name or something like that and you can also you even edit the yaml file directly like kubectl edit hyphen f and you directly edit the manifest file and it can be applied 
So this is also a, a command which is mainly for to edit the command line and change the deployment resources. But uh, more than this, I would say the all other commands which I showed, those are really critical. And you never forget those commands because that is going to save your day, how you're working on Kubernetes, you end up into some issues. So you use those commands, analyze, debug more, you find the issues, then you can uh, get into the actual root causes and you can quickly solve the actual issues which you are facing with your Kubernetes cluster. Whether it can be running on your uh, in-house in uh, servers or it can be cloud, these commands are going to be really useful on day to day basis. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'm sure you will like this videos and if you are new to my channel, I would request you like if you are very interested to learn more about DevOps, Docker, Kubernetes, different kind of technologies, click on the subscribe button. Also, if you like my videos like this, uh, press the like button. Also share with your colleagues, friends, uh, everyone okay so thank you for watching and uh, wish you a uh, good learning